The Old English Bulldog is a strong, outgoing, friendly and bold dog breed. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Old English Bulldog. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the old English Bulldog and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Number 1. Origin Back in the 18th and beginning of the 19th century, there was a dog named Old English Bulldog. It was a very strong and powerful and quite aggressive dog breed that was used for a bloody dog sport called bull baiting, which was banned in 1830s. This breed is an ancestor of today's bulldog breeds and it was a very agile, strong and muscular dog. When the bull baiting was banned, these dogs, the athletic bulldogs, quickly began to disappear and new bulldogs were bred solely for the conformation and as companion dogs, which is why they became smaller and lost most of their athleticism. Number 2. David Levitt the Old English Bulldog we have today is an attempt of David Levitt to recreate the old athletic Old English Bulldog from 18th and 19th century. He wanted to recreate their athleticism, agility and better health, but these dogs shouldn't be that aggressive as the original Bulldog. The Old English Bulldog is a blend of the English Bulldog, Bull Mastiff, American Pit Bull Terrier and American Bulldog. After a while, many other breeders started breeding their own lines of Old English Bulldogs, so Mr. Levitt decided to name his line as Levitt Bulldog to maintain his original breeding aims and to distinguish his line of Old English Bulldogs from those of other breeders. Number 3. English Bulldog you can see on the first side that there is a big difference between the English Bulldog and Old English Bulldog. The Old English Bulldog is taller, not so wrinkly and overall much less extreme in terms of bulliness. It's also much much healthier breed which can reproduce itself naturally, unlike the English Bulldog who very often must be born by caesarean section. The Old English Bulldog also doesn't have that big problems with breathing nor with overheating. The Old English Bulldog is also more lively, playful and energetic than the English Bulldog. Number 4. Companion Great fact is that even though these dogs look intimidating, their temperament is very friendly, affectionate, eager to please and totally outgoing. These are just amazing family companion dogs. Some of them might have protective instinct and be a little bit territorial, but this is vastly influenced by early socialization. Most of the old English Bulldogs love its family and they want to be around its owners all day long. They are also good playful partners for kids, but you should never leave any dog breed with a very young child unsupervised. These dogs are also okay with other dogs and other pets in the household, especially if they are raised together from the puppyhood. Number 5. Training even though this is quite intelligent breed with eager to please personality, they are not total pushovers to train. It's mostly due to the typical bulldog stubbornness, which most of them exhibit from time to time. The training sessions should be short but regular, and the training should be very patient and consistent. Overall, it's not terribly hard to teach the old English bulldogs all the basic obedience commands and even some fun tricks as well. Number 6. Exercise Old English Bulldogs are big individuals when it comes to exercise and while some are very lively and playful, others are typical couch potatoes. On average, these dogs have moderate exercise needs. They do need regular exercise that will occupy their mind and body. Several daily longer walks accompanied with good playtime or fun training sessions should be enough for these dogs. Number 7. Size this is an athletic and muscular dog breed with average height between 16 to 20 inches which is 40 to 50 centimeters and weight is typically between 50 to 80 pounds which is 22 to 36 kilograms. Females tend to be slightly smaller than males. Number 8. Coat the Old English Bulldog has a short and coarse coat with medium density. The coat should be shiny, showing good health. Officially, according to the breed standard, you can find this breed in brindle, white, fawn, red or black, all with or without white spots and patches. But these dogs can be found in other than these accepted colors as well. Number 9. Maintenance 
The grooming and maintenance of Old English Bulldog is very easy. They are modern shedders and you should brush their coat from time to time to remove dirt from it and also any loose and dead hair which will minimize the shedding. But the shedding is nothing terrible. There is no need for any other special care about the coat. You should take proper care about the skin between wrinkles and keep it dry and clean so they don't develop any infections. Just like with all dogs, you should also regularly check their eyes, ears, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health Great fact is that the Old English Bulldog tends to be healthier breed than most of other Bulldog breeds, but it doesn't mean that they cannot suffer from any health issues. The major health concerns include bloating, hip dysplasia and some skin problems. The average lifespan is between 11 to 14 years. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Old English Bulldog and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.